Happy end of the first semester, students. Happy end of Restart Readiness testing. I want to thank all of you for your hard work on that Restart Readiness testing. A couple important things here I just wanted to go over with all of you. First, first semester grade cards for the middle school will be ready on Progress Book beginning Friday, January 20th. Now, if you have any older or younger siblings in the high school or in the elementary school, you may know that their report cards are coming out January 13th. There was a little mix up on dates that caused that difference. So I apologize for that, but our middle school grade cards actually won't be ready until January 20th on progress. For those of you that are wondering about the first semester incentive, Remember the requirements you need to have reached during the first semester to earn that incentive. You needed to get all A's and B's on your final semester average in every class the first semester. You needed to complete all your reading accountability requirements outlined by your ELA teachers. And you needed to receive no disciplinary action during the first semester. If you did all those things, you will have earned incentive. A letter will be given to all students who earned incentives sometime before Friday, January 20th. And that letter will let you know that you qualify. If you do not get that letter by January 20th, but you think you probably qualified, come see me in the office. I'll double check to make sure I didn't miss you. Any students who did earn incentive are going to go roller skating on January 27th during school. You'll receive some game time here in school where we'll play cornhole and board games and stuff. Then we're going to go to the skating rink. You'll get your skate rental. You'll get two hours of skating time. And you'll get a piece of pizza and a drink at the skating rink also. You're free to bring extra money if you want. They will have extra concessions there. And they do have a small arcade. That's completely up to you. Students not attending the first semester incentive, you will be in school that day and you will have an altered schedule and you will just go through each of your classes that day doing normal classwork. The schedule will just look a little different for you. And then that also brings me to a reminder on the second semester incentive. And I wanna really make sure all of you understand this thoroughly as we begin the third nine weeks. You see, when the third nine weeks began on January 9th, you all restarted. Everyone right now is eligible to go on the second semester incentive. It's your job to remain eligible. Here are the things you have to do for second semester incentive. And remember, second semester incentive, the requirements are a little different than the first semester. Look at them closely. You must get all A's and B's on your quarter three report card. Remember, first semester, you need to have all A's and B's for your semester averages. Here, you got to have all A's and B's on your quarter three report card. So don't go slacking during the third nine weeks here. You also need to receive all A's and B's on your fourth quarter interim report. Interim report. You know that report that comes out halfway through the nine weeks that lets you know how you're doing in your classes? To earn second semester incentive, you have to have all A's and B's on that interim report. That's important to so make sure you keep an eye on that and think of that, especially as we get into the fourth nine weeks. You also need to complete all your reading accountability requirements outlined by your ELA teacher and receive no disciplinary action. And just as a reminder, sixth and seventh graders that get the second semester incentive will be going to scene 75 and all eighth graders will be going to Kings Island at the end of the school. So I wish you all best of luck. I hope you all have a great second half of the school year. Thank you again for all your hard work.